point that it makes landfall somewhere in the Carolinas this Thursday night. We will continue to watch because you never know until you know with tropical systems or with snow or with any weather event here in North Carolina. The big picture story tonight is that we could still possibly have a category four hurricane on our coast, either South Carolina or North Carolina's coast this Thursday. But for us, major flooding will be the biggest issue. The changes tonight, the winds have increased up to 90 miles per hour with Florence and the track shifted slightly to the north. I'm going to show you that shift coming up in a second. It's still a slow mover for us. The forecast will be pretty typical. Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, but the rain and wind from that system will be here Thursday and probably last into the weekend. Now, speaking of rain, we actually had a severe thunderstorm down in Moore County earlier. And remember, we've got a boundary kind of draped over our area, and that's helping to initiate some of this rain, even though it's 11 o'clock at night. So you might have a heavy downpour, maybe a rumble of thunder for the next hour or two, but we do expect dry weather by morning. Now there could be some fog as you head off to work. Make sure you check in with Paul and Aaron. They'll be here tomorrow morning starting at 430 and a lot of us are going to be in the 60s. One big story we're missing today is it wasn't in the 90s. First time in almost two weeks that has happened. Now we'll have a lot of clouds tomorrow should be in the upper 80s with muggy conditions and we'll have a few scattered showers in the afternoon. So there's that boundary. I mean, it kept some of us in the 60s today, while others south of the boundary in Fayetteville were in the 90s, 60s and 90s all in our area. Little strange, but that's what happens when you have a boundary right over us. Now that boundary lifts out of here tomorrow and it'll bring us another chance of rain, but not in the morning. The morning time, we'll have some clouds, dry weather, and some fog by lunchtime, still mostly dry, and then just a 30% chance of scattered showers. Here we are at three o'clock, here we are at six o'clock, and then most of that rain goes away as we head into the evening. Gonna be the same deal Tuesday and Wednesday, and then Thursday is when we expect things to start to change here as this hurricane approaches our area. It is now 1300 and change from Wilmington, North Carolina. Keep an eye on that number. It's going to continue to go down. I'm going to keep Wilmington as our kind of ground zero point so we can kind of gauge how close this is getting to us. Winds up to 90 miles per hour, but it's still moving really, really slow. The hurricane hunters were out there earlier today, actually leaving from St. Croix, kind of investigating the area around it. They're going to feed all that data into the computer models, into forecasters, and then they headed back to the Tampa area, McDill Air Force Base, and they're going to feed it into the these computer models, which the runs tonight are starting to cluster a little more on North Carolina and Northern South Carolina. Remember how spread out they were as they start to narrow. That's telling us a story that there's more certainty in the forecast. And that's how we wind up with this, the official track from the Hurricane Center. And the amazing thing is this is going to explode again into a major hurricane, likely by tomorrow, becoming a category four through Tuesday and Wednesday as it moves over some incredibly warm water and then as a category four on the North or South Carolina coastline Thursday night. And then a roadblock goes up. This thing slows down so incredibly much, we are gonna have big problems with flooding. I'm gonna put the center line in, the red one, and then I'm gonna drop the white line in. That's from five o'clock tonight. And notice how it nudged ever so slightly to the north. Not enough to change anything with our forecast. But here's what I mean, from here to here, Thursday to Friday night is a little more than 100 miles. That means in 24 hours it's going to be moving possibly less than five miles per hour. And there's an old tropical rule of thumb for forecasting where you take 100 divided by the speed of the system to figure out how much rain you're going to get. And if it's going five or six miles per hour, that could be 17, maybe up to 20 inches of rain. That's a major flooding event for someone here in North Carolina. The tropical storm force winds could move into our area later in the day Thursday. So here's what we could expect a Thursday morning through the weekend event because it's going to be so slow moving heavy rain flooding and tornadoes exact amounts of rain still unknown but that wind could knock down trees and therefore knock out some power Maggie. So there's a lot headed our way. None of it's written in stone yet but it is all very possible and it's all something we need to prepare for. We have three days to do it Monday Tuesday and Wednesday look pretty typical but we have Florence alert days Thursday, Friday, and I'll be honest with you, some of that flooding could continue into the weekend. Mm.